Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very interesting question from algebra. Our equation is x square plus 3 minus square root x whole power 4 equal to 17. And we have to find out all real solutions. So let's get it started. We have a square root x. So I can write our radicand x must be positive for real solutions. Now we have x square. Can we write x square as a square root x whole power 4? So x power half whole power 4 which will be equal to x power 2 plus 3 minus a square root x whole power is 4 equal to 17. Now we can assume a square root x equal to a and 3 minus a square root x equal to b. So I can write a square root x equal to a and 3 minus a square root x equal to b. Let's add these two. So we will get 3 as LHS. RHS will become a plus b. So I can write our first equation a plus b equal to 3. Let's say equation number 1. Now after substitution what we will get from the original equation a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 17. So I can write our second equation as a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 17. Let's say this is our equation number 2. Now we have to solve this system for the value of a only. Once a is known, x will be known. So I can write our first equation a plus b equal to 3. And our equation 2 was a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 17. Now I will consider squaring both sides. a plus b whole square. We can write a square plus b square plus 2 times ab equal to 9. Now subtract 2ab from both sides. a square plus b square will be equal to 9 minus 2 times ab. Now we have a power 4 plus b power 4 known. So let us consider squaring once again. Again we will apply a plus b whole square formula. So a square whole square a power 4, b square whole square b power 4 plus 2 times a square times b square. And RHS will become 81 which is a square of 9 plus 4a square b square minus 9 times 2 is 18, 18 times 2 is 36 ab. Now I will take this term to the RHS and here we will write 17 as per equation number 2. So I can write 17 equal to 81 plus 4a square b square minus 2a square b square 2a square b square minus 36 ab take all the terms to RHS so 2a square b square minus 36 ab plus 81 minus 17 64 equal to 0 equation is divisible by 2 we will write a square b square minus 18 times ab plus 32 equal to 0. Or we can consider ab equal to u. So our equation will become u square minus 18u plus 32 equal to 0 ab is u. 
So I will write u square minus 18u plus 32 equal to 0, where u is a times b and a is a square root x. Okay, now this is one quadratic equation. We can use method of factorization because we can see the factors of 32. We can write 16 times 2. And if I will add these two, then addition will be 18, which is our middle term. So I can split minus 18u as minus 16u minus 2u plus 32 equal to 0. Now from first two terms, we can take u common out. So u minus 16. From last two, we will get minus 2 common. So in the bracket, we will get u minus 16. So we have factors u minus 2 times u minus 16 equal to 0. So from here we can conclude either u minus 2 will be 0 or u minus 16 will be 0. So from here we can write u equal to 2 and from this equation we will get u equal to 16. Now u was ab. So I will write ab equal to 2 and 16. Now our equation 1 was a plus b equal to 3. So from here I can generate two systems. a plus b equal to 3 with ab 2 and a plus b equal to 3 with ab 16. Let's write here. a plus b equal to 3 with ab value 2 and a plus b equal to 3 with a b value 16. So we can think about one quadratic equation whose roots are a and b. Then first equation is sum of roots, second equation is product of roots, sum of roots, product of roots. So directly we can write that quadratic equation a square minus sum of roots which is a plus b equal to 3 times a plus product of roots which is a b equal to 2 equal to 0. Similarly from the second system we can write a square minus 3a plus 16 equal to 0. Now if I will check the discriminant value from second quadratic equation. Let me write delta b square minus 4ac. So minus 3 square minus 4 times 1 times 16. Minus 3 square is 9. 4 times 16 is 64. So this value is coming out negative 55. Discriminant is negative. We will get complex solutions. So this quadratic we will reject as we are looking for real solutions. Now the turn of first quadratic equation. I can see again factorization. Minus 3a can be written as minus a minus 2a. Addition of both will give us middle term minus 3a. Product of both will give us 2a square, which is product of leading and constant term plus 2 equal to 0. A is common, A minus 1, minus 2 is common, A minus 1 equal to 0. So we can get from here, A minus 1 times A minus 2 equal to 0. So I can conclude, when A minus 1 will be 0, we will get A equal to 1. And if A minus 2 equal to 0, we will get a equal to 2. So I can write A equal to 1 and A equal to 2. Now our substitution was A equal to root x. So here I can write square root x equal to 1 
to consider squaring both sides we will get our solutions x equal to 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 let's verify our solution so i will write verify solutions x equal to 1 equation is here i will consider lhs so x square plus 3 times minus root x whole power 4 equal to 17 now x square so i will write 1 square plus 3 minus square root 1 whole power 4 so 1 square is 1 plus 3 minus square root 1 is 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 2 power 4 so 1 plus 16 which will give us our RHS 17. Hence, x is equal to 1 is our true and verified solution. Now, the turn of 4. x equal to 4. Again, I will consider LHS x square. So, 4 square plus 3 minus square root 4 whole power 4. So, 4 square is 16 plus 3 minus 2 square root 4 is 2 whole power 4. 16 plus 1 power 4. 1 power 4 is 1. So, we will get 16 plus 1 which is equal to our RHS 17. Hence, x is equal to 4 is also true and verified solution. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye and take care of yourself.